Thank you, for YouTuber, for tuning back in to another episode of exciting BMX stuff here. Have you guys ever heard? They don't make them like they used to, right? You guys heard that. But you know, you're using some tools. You're like, wow, these new tools, man, they don't make them like they used to. In, circum in certain circumstances, that's true, but in certain circumstances, it's not. I know for a fact I'm a big tool geek. So the tools, the old tools that I had from like the 80s and 90s, oh, man, that's, that sounds terrible. 80s, 90s, man, am I that old? Yes. They're, you know what, the tools are more solid. They're more rigid. And they're tougher, all these new tools, you know what? If you guys, you guys, you guys see if you guys agree or disagree on this. If you guys have yourself, let's say a Craftsman wrench. The Craftsman wrench will last you forever. All the new ones you guys get, you guys use it, it's always popping, it's always slipping. Yeah, see, they don't make them like they used to. So, I hear that a lot with bikes also. You know, a lot of guys come in, a lot of the old school guys, like me, Alf is starting to knock on that door. You know, a lot of this guy goes, man, what's up with these current bikes, man? Like, it's just, they don't make them like they used to. Now, let's, let's dig in deeper that, because you know what, I agree. They don't make bikes like they used to, man. The current bikes, eh. Right here we have two bikes. We have a bike from mid 80 to, I would say what, what's this, like, like a 20, 2021, mid 2021, 22 model? So this is this is the newest, latest and greatest. This is a vintage. Let's look at why why the old bikes are just better. First of all, you look at you look at this bike. Let's look at the main thing, the frame. Okay, now some of you guys look at this. It's same, it's same, but then look, the loop tail, guys, the loop tails. Oh man, look at the dropout. Right away, if I was to show you a little picture of that. You're gonna know right away, it's a mongoose. If I went and I show you a little picture of this, I'll be honest guys, I wouldn't even know. I wouldn't even know. You think you would, Elf? No, I, 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 would, I am willing to bet, majority of you guys out there watching would not be able to know, but if I show you a little bit of that, you know right away. So what's I tell you, the styling, the styling of it. You look at the, you look at the stem, okay? You look at the details, you look at the cut. This actually came in two tone like that. Whereas you look at a lot of the stem, besides it has a little crow on it. Look guys, I'm not saying this is a bad stem, but there are a lot of other stems out there. They're all similar. Look at this bar. What bar is this? There's no sticker on it. I'm not gonna know what bar this is. I, I for the life of me, I will not know what bar. But guys, you look at this bar right now. Come on, real quick, real quick, real quick. Mongoose, right away. The the shape right here, the curve, and how the crossbar is welded right on top. Right away, guys. Am I wrong or right? It's very distinct. You look at the, even the fork. Again, if I was just showing you a little piece of it, you would ID that instantly. Whereas a lot of the stuff, like the current fork, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know what the hell it is. The styling is just not there. Okay, the seat clamp. Every bike back then had a seat clamp. So guess what, man? If Alf happened to have the same bike, I guarantee you, me and him are not gonna have the same seat clamp. But if you look at the current bike, oh, just flavorless, flavorless. This is just a plain cheese pizza. You know, straight up just top ramen. You don't get the little cracked eggs, the little salt bay in it. That's what this is. You know, you look at, you look at even, even the pedals. Style, style for miles. All these pedals now, they all look the same. Oh, boring, boring. And guys, you look at, you look at the bike itself. This thing weighs like nothing. You guys think this thing's gonna weigh a lot? No. This thing right here, Guys, I know Alf is a weight weenie. He, he denies it. He's a weight weenie, dude. That just sounds pretty light. <laughs> His bike is pretty light. But it's still not as light as that. But guys, on the average, on the average, a professional rider's bike, you're, you're looking at what, what was this, 27? No, less. 
Less. Yeah. What? Twenty five. Twenty five and a half. Twenty six. Man, you are a weight weenie. Jesus. Makes it easier on the old bones. Yeah. Well, in your prime, in your prime when you're a little bit more hardcore, you got a little bit of weight on your bike. These guys, guys, the '80s bikes. These guys all weigh like twenty pound, twenty two pound. They were lightweight. Still made chromoly, but there's so much character. But is that what we're talking about when we said they don't make them like they used to? Because if we're talking about style, hands down. But guys, let's be honest. If Alf, Alf, I'm, I, I don't know if you guys ever know Alf. His, are you still your Instagram still Alf Lardo? No, it never was. What was your Al Flerdo? That's just my nickname. So Al's nickname back then was Al Flerdo. Go ahead, give you guys a moment. Everybody's probably fucking laughing their ass off. Why? Because Al was one of those young guns back then that used to flare. He flares everything. Doesn't do no more because you it's know. Like, dude. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, the hills. Right. Slip. It's a hater. But here's the thing, Al. Would you try flare on that? I mean, I would. Probably break it. You break, but if you break that, what's gonna happen? You probably gonna get hurt. I pulled the wheel and probably break the drop, like the back end off. But this, you have full confidence. This is oh, yeah. gonna. This, yeah. Let's say, let's say uh, you're gonna go out. You know, you, I know. You, I, I've seen your dirt jump. Same thing. Dirt jump with that bike versus this thing's a lot lighter, so you know. If I didn't case them, if they weren't crazy big, probably not too bad. But I still wouldn't feel as confident. You would, dude. Uh, huck a tail whip. Huck a tail oh, whip. Oh, never. Mark. Hell no. Why? It's probably so light and flimsy. What do you mean flimsy? <laughs> Look at that. Just look at this little rear triangle. Just like it would snap. Guys, what you don't see here, what I was trying to say is the tubing is very thin. Very thin, even though it's 100% chromatic, very thin. Compared to these tubing, all the current frames, they're thicker and they're butted. You know what that means? It's not because the guy sat there with like just a bare butt and welded, it's butted. Butted meaning the ends of them are thicker. It's thicker where the welds are and the middle are not. Same thing with the bars. Where all the bends are, the high-end bars, they're butted, they're thicker. So there's a lot of ingenuity. Back then, these guys were here. Granted, the guys that welded, probably one dude welding everything. He's probably the master welder. This one right here is a machine weld, but guess what, guys? Due to technology, due to lawsuits, these bikes are made top-notch with testing. These things, there was no testing. They went. They go, hey, I know how to put two pieces, melt two pieces of metal together. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little loop in here because my competitor has something similar. I'm gonna make it real cool. And guess what? Hey, kid, do you wanna go get on it? The kid goes, yes, sir. Get on it and ride it. And the kids all did was pedal real fast. Some of you guys right now will probably go, no, no, no. I was one of the one that broke it. Oh yeah, Dude, I guarantee you, a lot of those top pros are racing. They're snapping and left to right. Not these. You snap these nowadays, you're gonna get your ass sued. So. The same thing. You look at you look at why this bike's so light. These these rims, array of rims, they're single wall. They're single wall. These are double wall, triple wall. If you cut open it, there are chambers in it. All the ingenuity going. This right here, it's just a flat piece. It's just a flat piece. There's nothing there. I can literally right now if I was to kick it real hard, it'll probably bend. This one won't. Same thing. You look at something like this. This 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 pipe probably came from Home Depot. Some guy probably go, hey dude, we're gonna make like 100 frames. Hey Foo, go run to Home Depot to the, to, to the conduit and get it. These guys right here are all machine. The machine that made it are high tech. It's not going to break, it's been tested time and time. Same thing guys, we have the newer tires on here. These are Primo uh, V Monster, they're newer. I just like it so I put it on the bike, but the old school one, I hear you guys talk about it. Oh my God, snake belly, snake belly. Some of you young guns don't know what that is, but the old school guys, they're getting hard just to hear me saying it. But snake bellies, come on. Those are beach cruiser tires. Those things hold like 30 PSI. These things here are 110 PSI. This is made for like, like mega ramps. This is made for like going 100 miles an hour and tail whipping down like a 20 stairs. So they can handle it. Look at this guy, the sprocket. The sprocket alone. It's probably stronger than this whole damn bike. So guys, so when we talk about they don't make it like they used to, it's kind of a hard argument. You're right, the style, they don't make it like they used to. 
Definitely, definitely. Alf, can I get a nod? The old school bike, they're still distinct. But they don't make it like they used to. Is in strength? I don't think so. I'm gonna put myself on this. I'm not going to ride. I'll probably cruise out to the liquor store. Okay, this, I'm gonna ride it, I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna shred this thing. You think about back then also is the guys are making it. They have they have almost no like BMX background. They don't ride, they're just good welders. They know how to put two pieces of metal together. But now these bikes right here, this is decades and decades. This bike from top to bottom, from riders feedback, contests, demos, breakage, and from what they learned from back then. You got this, solid. So when we talk about they don't make it like they used to, there's multiple argument. They don't make this like they used to in style, you got it here. They don't make it like they used to in strength, no way. The new one, for sure more strength. I hope that fulfilled everything you guys need. I hope I clarify everything up. I hope I didn't upset anybody. Old school guys, they're very sensitive. They're very sensitive. They're like, they're probably sweating right now. I'm, I'm gonna apologize. I'm gonna start, say sorry to everybody that offend. No, no, I'm not gonna apologize for nothing. Conor McGregor. <laughs> no, no, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Uh, next episode, guys, I'm running out of idea, man. I'm getting old. I'm getting old, dude. I look. I, I don't even have my chocolates on no more. I forgot. I forgot where I put it. Suggest something. Show me some ideas. Tell me some ideas. I'll listen. I read up all of it. So guys, like, subscribe. I'm out of here. Nice shirt, by the way. First time you haven't worn an epic one in forever. Well, I I don't know. I I some some lady told me I look good in it. Come on, dude. You know, you know when the ladies tell you what you look good on, you're gonna go with it. You know, you know you guys. You guys do some pretty stupid stuff when the lady tells you you look good. 